What's up YouTube, I'm John Wheels and today we're going to be taking our go-kart axle, filling in the old keyway with weld and recutting it so it's a nice snug fit. <laughs> So we're at our school shop in this next clip you're about to see and this is before I really knew what I was doing with welding so uh, forgive my wire speed it's uh, really low but you know uh, you, practice makes perfect so I had to just keep practicing but anyways let's get into this. It looks crappy, but I'm really just trying to fill in the weld, so I'll grind that down. Okay, so I got this cut. Um, I'm a little disappointed. There's like a gap in there, but uh, if I put the axle so that torque is being applied this way, this side is uh, solid, so I think we'll be fine. Okay, so now we can um, put spray paint on this because um, we don't want it to get yeah, this is, um... All right, so we gotta make a spacer for the brake because now the brake caliper can slide on and off. So if you can look real closely, you can see the amount where this is like pitted and rusted and over here and that little mark right there that's where the brake caliper was or disc sorry um so we're gonna take this pipe which fits over it like that and we're just gonna mark it and cut it Alright, so we got our spacer. Okay, so now we're gonna slide on all the parts in order. We need it first. It is the spacer. I have to give that a tap. Okay. Next would be our right disc. One of these pieces. We need our two carriage bolts, so we gotta put these in here. Right. Now that those are in there, then we can put the bearing on. Okay, 
it's tightened down. Now, we get another one of these bearing carriers. Clip that on there. Um, that'll sandwich the bearing. Next, we're gonna take our sprocket. Okay, the cold is like really sped and it keeps like messing up the camera. It makes it like not want to film. But anyways, we got like this mounted up and like the thing mounted up and Andy's like laughing. And we have, we're starting to put on this bearing over here. Okay. And here. Then put in carriage bolts. And I'm gonna need two lock nuts. Just gonna thread that on there. Okay, that is now mounted. Slide our spacer on, and then our we can spin this a little bit. Put in our keys. Is that okay? We're good. Um, and now we can. I'm gonna. So then our keys are in there. Um, and then we can grab our axle nut and we'll uh, tighten that down. And then you can see I have my uh, new lug nuts from Go Power Sports. Um, I just needed one, but it came in like a four pack. So uh, I got four. But yeah. Okay. I'll just have to. Tighten that down. Okay, uh, next step is getting the chain on and aligned. So we're gonna take a key and uh, stick it in there. And then our keyed washer. And then Okay, so we got our chain mounted up. Tires are just hand put on there. These are the light ones because you can see it's the first snow of the season. Um, we're big snow where I can actually do stuff in. Um, now we're mounting up the uh, torque converter. Uh, let's see. So I have this new Comet uh, thing from Go Power Sports. Let me open that up. It's a brass bushing for idling. So it goes on here, and it idles, uh, so when the belt is going, it uh, doesn't mess it up. Let me grab the belt. Okay. We can... Okay. The belt is on. Now we can put on our, let's see, um, pulley. Okay, there we go. Now we can take our 10 millimeter wrench and uh... Okay, so the axe is all mounted and bolted up. Fender is mounted up. 
So. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment below to tell me what you thought.